Hello, YouTube. I'm Jake from Peyton B and their friend, and tonight we're doing a Peddler's Mall all. Um, yeah, I will now show you what is inside of this bag. Let's get it out of the unboxing box. Oh yeah, guys, don't question my, um, henna tattoos that are, um, clearly visible under my cheap white gloves. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be stuck with them for two weeks because they're just, um, what was it, like, body art marker or whatever, so... Yeah, um, that didn't look very aesthetic, but, uh, yeah, see, the bag is telling me thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, um, a free bag, um, thank you. Um, very strange, if I do say so myself. Anyway, um, let's put all our stuff to the side here. And as per usual, we will be unboxing in chronological order. So, first thing, of course, whenever you walk in, you will probably see booth 266. Which, they've actually been on my channel multiple times for anime figures. But, um, I have bought, in, like, a lot of these buttons off of them. And I just never unboxed them for YouTube because, I don't know, I didn't think anybody would watch it. But, you're watching it. So, I don't know, maybe you will watch all right, so, well, first thing here is, this one has no packaging, which I don't take the stickers off the back, because I always like to keep the stickers, but, yeah, I don't know what this from, but it's cute, so, yeah, and then, all right, this, again, don't know what it's from, I mean, I know it says on there, but uh, I don't know what that is. Basically, all these buttons that I get, I don't know the sources for any of them, but I get them because I like them, and because, I mean, they are cheap. Like, they're a dollar. You can't even get buttons at, like, Hot Topic, like the small ones, for that much. And plus, I just really enjoy these. So. Yes. Um. Oh, better watch out. Reflective back. Um. Then for the last of the Booth 266 stuff, we have more buttons. So, let's get these opened. And then, if I can get them open. Okay, I got them open. Now, let's get them out. Okay. Um, now, take a look. Ah. Uh, reflective surfaces will be the death of me because I don't want you guys to know my secret. But, yeah, again, don't know what these are from, but I don't really mind because for the price and quality you get, I like it. And I mean, I'd say most of these buttons that I've gotten from Booth 266, I do actually wear frequently. 
I'm probably the only idiot to, who has spent to, probably over $200 at this point to, at Booth 266. I mean, like, bro, I'm not even sponsored by them. Because, man, I can't do sponsorships. I don't want to, but... Yeah, I mean, bro. Alright, next. We've got a license plate border. Now, you guys might be wondering, like, Jake, you don't got a car. Yeah, I don't. Nah, -uh, this is... This is for my mom. I mean, Connie's Creations car. Yeah, it's for the Creation Mobile. Um, yeah, which this was, of course, from Booth um, 852, which I don't know if I have featured them on my channel before, but I do buy. Well, I have bought quite a few keychains from them. But, yeah, they had actually quite a few options, and my mom wanted to get the Spongebob one, and at first, I kind of did also, but then I seen the Yu-Gi-Oh one, because this one is more badass, so, yeah, and then she agreed to it, even though she doesn't know what Yu-Gi-Oh is, I don't think, but, uh, yeah, I mean... I still think the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime is, like, way better than Pokemon, but... Um... Yeah, I can't really, um, say much of anything about it other than it looks cool, because obviously I can't just walk out at, um, 2.40 in the morning and just go put this on our car, but... Yeah, I'm sure whenever it gets put on, it'll look fly. It better. Because, man, currently our car sucks. Like, we need decoration. Alright, and then last... But least... Or last but not least... Hey, man, I don't know. Okay, um... Oh, wait. Oops, I got these stacked wrong. Oh boy. Um, okay. So, first off here, this is from Booth 262. Okay, which they actually haven't bought many DVDs off them yet because they have a. They have probably the most DVDs in there, honestly. But. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have bought a couple so far, and I, I like them. I mean, because they were family guy, but... Uh, yeah, first off, we got All Dogs Go to Heaven, which, um... I'm gonna be honest, I have never watched this movie. I'm pretty sure not, anyway. But I'm a big fan of Don Bluth's films, and Secret of the Nymph is one of my favorites. John here. Apparently somebody named Kelly owned this before, so... Um... Yeah, I hope you're doing well out there, Kelly. Um... Don't know who you are, but... Uh, let's get this open here. Um... I keep the stickers on. I keep the stickers on just about for everything that I buy, in all honesty. Even if I do end up damaging the stickers, just because I like looking at the stickers. Because it helps me remember where I bought the stuff. And also how much I paid for it, but... All right. Just All right. Here is Hold on, got to check make sure no reflective. Okay, no reflective. All right. So here is our disc. 
Um, let's see here. Okay, the disc right here has a copyright of 2001. So, hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing this was probably released sometime around 2001. Which, I don't know, personally, this disc design, I know, like, you know, um, it's, like, supposed to be hip, you know, like, minimalist or whatever, but, I don't know, personally, I'm not totally a big fan of the minimalist disc designs, but, I mean, this does look kind of fly, so... And then, if you guys don't know, I am a big fan of South Park. I actually just recently got done watching, like, all either 26 or 27 seasons. I don't remember how many seasons there are, because there are too many. But yes, I sat and suffered through all the seasons... So, I would consider myself quite the fan. And, yeah, this here, <laughs> this is specifically dedicated for Timmy, which, uh, Timmy is one of my favorites, okay? Even though he has not made a significant appearance in any episodes for... I don't know, like, um, I don't even know how many seasons, but I mean, like, honestly, the only, um, episode that I can remember that Timmy did play a part in was, um, whenever him and Jimmy, like, joined a gang, which, I mean, that might have actually been the last time that I think Timmy has had a significant role in any episodes. Which, I mean, I quite find quite sad, honestly, because I really like him. I think he's cool. But, go ahead and open this up. I mean, I don't know. The creator said that the reason why Timmy and Kenny you know, don't really get any episodes dedicated for themselves is because, um, they don't talk. But, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, okay? As somebody who is, well, dating somebody who is mute, so therefore does not talk, I think that's a bunch of malarkey, okay? Because people who don't talk... They can still be very interesting. Which I know, like, ooh, but, but show. Like, figure it out. Like, seriously, can't you figure it out? Like, oh my gosh. Okay, the disc. You guys are just gonna have to look at it from far away because it's reflecting, but. Yeah, again, like, with the minimalism, like. This is a little too minimalist, honestly, because I really don't like that it's reflecting. Well, first off, because I can't show it on video now, but... Also because, I don't know, I just don't like reflective discs in general. They kind of weird me out. I don't like looking at my reflection, but... Yeah, I guess now I can show this. Wow, but... We're just gonna have to set that aside, because... Let's take a look in here. Now, like, honestly, I do have to appreciate, though, that, like, they did actually put some cool art in here instead of just, like, nothing. Which also, if you take a look at the back here, it says the episodes, which, let me take a look here and see... Hmm, try to figure out when this was made. I mean, obviously, I can tell this is probably pretty old, considering that first off, um, 
there's only four episodes on here, which you guys might think is a strange observation, but you see quite, I don't know how long ago, but like, um, if you look at older, um, sets of discs for like shows, you'll notice that they're split up between like many different DVDs and each DVD will only have like three or four episodes on it. That's because back then they couldn't fit as many episodes in a DVD. But also though, this could just be because this is really the only um, episodes that Timmy got the spotlight in for older South Park. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and put, oh, what's up with this? Oh, proof of purchase. You know, I never understood what them proof of purchase things were for, in all honesty. But, all right. Yeah, I don't know, as much as I'm a fan of, like, the art to for these types of cases where it's like this. I'm not a fan of how they close because like there. Okay, it took me long enough. Oh wait, I forgot to show off this. Huh. Wow. You gotta email them. I wonder what happens if you email them, though. Like, yo. Do they even... Does anyone still use email? I don't know. Let's put that back in there for now. And then... Okay, there we go. Um, Alright, last... DVD that we have to look at here is um Monster High. Which apparently this has does this have two discs or two movies? I'm not sure. Cause the only Monster High movies that I have bought so far only had one movie within them. But also this is for the older stuff. Which honestly I'm not a fan of their can't say more recent movies, but their later movies, I definitely, like, I did not like them, I'm gonna be honest, because, like, yes, I know, back then I was a kid, but, man, I still watch this stuff, I'm sorry, and I still don't like it, so, yeah, sorry, um, as a kid, I liked the older Monster High movies, <laughs> And as a sad 17-year-old, I liked them better. Now, thing was, I used to re-watch them like a shit ton on Netflix for whatever reason. Especially the 13 Wishes one. That one was the bomb. But, alright, so we got Friday Night Frights. Now, this one, in all honesty, I don't remember that much, but, uh, I mean, I knew it was, like, good. It just wasn't my forte, because at the time, as a kid, I did not really like sporty media. And then, for the second one, we got Why Do Ghouls Fall in Love? Now, I don't know why I watched this one so much as a kid, I'm gonna be honest. Probably because it was filling the gap of the fact that nobody loved me. I mean, what? Okay. Um, okay, no reflective. Let's look at the disc. Okay, yeah, so it is one disc, though. Which, that kind of proves my point, though. Like, that there, that's older, and they can only fit, like... Let's see here. What do we got in total for the runtime? Yeah, 92 minutes. That's all they can fit on here. 
While on the other hand, on here, they can fit an hour and 32 minutes. Now that is technological improvement. So, first off, it's pink. Like, I don't know why, but... Yeah, again, minimalism, but... I don't know, at least for this one, it kind of looks... You know, it kind of looks fresh. So... And... The video's not over yet. Because... You see, I have... News for the channel? I don't know what you'd call it, but, um... I'm going to show you guys. I got a portable DVD player. Yes. So, first off, screen there is reflective, so I can't show the screen whenever it's off. But, yes, this is what it looks like whenever it's empty. But, yeah, you see, from now on on my channel... If I can, I will be actually testing the DVDs because first off, I got to make sure I don't have any duds because I have gotten some that were duds. I'm not going to say by who or what, but okay. Yeah, it's um very bright, but, okay, yeah, this is what it looks like, oh my gosh, okay, yeah, this is what it looks like whenever there is no disc, and we will be inserting a disc, see, it says open, maybe actually open that, now, if there is ads, I, I was actually talking this over with Peyton B., on whether, if not, this is a good idea to do this. But if there is ads, they will be edited out of the videos because I don't want to show you guys ads, I'm going to be honest. Even if it is for, like, nostalgia or whatever, I don't want to show you guys ads. Um, and then there's also the issues of copyright, though. Because I don't, I don't want to get a copyright strike for any of this. Yeah, thankfully no ads on here. Thank goodness. But here is the menu screen. Which honestly, like, I mean, I know it looks tacky. But, you know, I like it. I need to find the remote. I'll be right back. You see, it does have a remote, which, you know, um, just, let's see. Yeah, like, there's that, and then, clearly this disc works, so... Okay, and then, also, we haven't decided yet what we're going to do with all of the, um, oh, all of the, um, DVDs that we've unboxed before on this channel. We was thinking about doing a special episode where we revisit all of them and stick them in the DVD player, which you guys might think, wow, Jake... This is majorly uncool. Why would I want to sit through this? Um, well, that is because I'm sure someone in my audience has an interest in DVDs by chance. I'm, well, I'm hoping, considering how many I have unboxed on this channel. Yeah, see, loading, and then DVD video. Hmm. Might be. 
That was reflective. Yeah, okay. Now this is really interesting though. Does it not have a play all option? Okay, also it's... Yeah, if you guys can't hear it, it's playing the South Park intro. Um... Sorry, I'm trying to talk. But, um... Honestly, bro... Man, they should have played in the background here, um... Timmy's song that he made in his band. Because, like, that song kicks ass first off. But second off, I mean, like... You know, it would have... It'd be more related to our topic here. I'm just saying. But yeah, they don't have a play all button. That's... I don't know. That's, um... Kind of strange to me. Um... Let's see here. Um, trailer... Um, no, thank you. Yeah, I mean... Okay, the reason why I'm going to the languages on these is because I know that on some DVDs they don't change the background on it, which really annoys me. Personal pet peeve, but... Yes, now let's carefully... And get this out of here so that poor Peyton B will not have to do too much editing on this video because there will probably already need to be quite a few things that we're gonna have or <laughs> we I don't do any editing haha <laughs> but um yeah there's gonna probably be some stuff already that She's gonna have to edit out. Or, well, probably blur out if I'm being honest. Like, if I can get this closed here. Alright, there we go. And of course, test this one out. Apparently, I didn't close it right. Um,. Oopsie doopsie daisies, lol. All right. I don't know, guys. I'm still just figuring this out, in all honesty, so... Okay, guys, there is ads. Um, all right, guys, ads are over. Um... Yeah, sorry for that. They were all Monster High related ads, but I'm sticking to my no ads policy on here. Even if it is related to the franchise on the DVD, but yeah, so let's take a look at our menu here. I don't know. I've, I don't know. This menu is kind of tripping me out with how like... It, it's split here, like, what? Um... Yeah, like, I don't know, I mean... It's probably the best that they could have done for this situation, though. So, if I can get the remote to work here... All right, so that's what we have for that, which... Also, why are subtitles on a different page, though? Personally, that... I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna say it. Um, that is another one of my pet peeves, because... I mean, I personally... I don't watch most of my movies with subtitles... But I have people in my life who do need subtitles, so... Um... Yeah, kind of same thing they got going on here. But... I mean, honestly, though, this menu, though... 
I'd say for what they was given, considering they had to, for some reason, shove two movies that are, I don't know, are they related in any way? I don't think they are, because none of the movies are, like, any sequels to each other, technically, so... Yeah, that just does not fully make sense to me. But, I don't know, maybe they just threw it on the same disc so that it'd get thrown in the bargain bin and they wouldn't have to bother putting two different releases in the bargain bin. Which, sorry, not sorry for saying that, but I'm going to be honest, some of these um, Monster High movies, I personally think, are not worth owning physically, in my personal opinion. I mean, okay, maybe kids might enjoy it, but some of this stuff I did not enjoy as a kid, so I don't know. Maybe their audience is just stupid people who see, like, Ooh, pretty monster ladies. Ooh, and that's about it. But I, on the other hand, I am a man of character development and conflict. But it's enough of that. Off switch is here. You turn it off, and then it turns off. But yeah, guys, that. <laughs> will be it for the video if you give if yeah if you give my video a like i will give you a virtual hug since currently you are in the virtual world watching this video. Um, yeah, so give me a like. Give me a subscriber. And give me a comment down below what you think about me checking out the discs in these videos. Because, I mean, I felt kind of bad that I wasn't doing it before. But I didn't have any way of actually doing it feasibly until I got the portable DVD player. So, um, yeah, give me your thoughts down below because, I mean, I do want to continue with it. I just don't know how. Because another thing I will clarify, guys, is that I don't watch unboxing videos in my free time. So, I don't really know how they fully work honestly every unboxing video that I do I'm just winging it even though I've done like 20 or so now I'm sure there will be many more to come because I have issues of the mental variety and yeah I will see you guys in the next video bye bye